Hello guys, we are now treating anterior open bite cases as you know and I'm going to show to you another possibility of treating those cases in adult patients meaning I have the possibility of doing extractions, I can do the retraction and other possibilities also but there is one that's a little bit trendy nowadays so I mean TEDS for opening, for closing anterior open bite cases so we are going to use now another possibility in which I uh, divide the treatment, I divided the treatment between the extrusion of anterior teeth and intrusion of posterior teeth and I'm gonna show it to you now. So in this patient she came for treatment uh, seeking for the closure of the open bite that was her chief complaint and in this case my first option was preparation, orthodontic preparation for orthodontic surgery. I told her parents and for her that that was the best possibility in her case, but she refused that kind of treatment. She refused this procedure. So she asked me, is it possible to close the bite without surgery? I told her, yes, it is possible. Although this is not the best option that I should offer to you. But in this case, my treatment plan was extrusion of anterior teeth and intrusion of posterior teeth. And I told her parents and for her that that kind of approach would end up with more gingival exposure during SMART and they told me it's okay we are completely okay with that condition with that possibility but we don't want to do the, the, the orthognatic surgery. So my question is why did I plan for intrusion of posterior and extrusion of anterior if I'm telling you now that the extrusion of anterior teeth would expose more gingiva? Well because in her case she was a class 3 patient she is a prognatic patient with her, her mandible rotated downwards and backwards. If I did just the intrusion of posterior, her mandible would go, would go very, very uh, much anteriorly and that was not what I wanted for her. So I had to split the correction between the intrusion of posterior and extrusion of anterior. Remember, my first option in her case was surgical procedure because I wanted to do the intrusion of posterior, extrusion of a little bit of anterior teeth but mainly the rotation of the mandible and going forward with her mandible but she didn't accept this procedure, this treatment plan and we up to a second treatment plan which was dividing, splitting the correction between the extrusion of anterior and intrusion of posterior, that's why. So let's see now how, how it went in her case, how the treatment plan went in her case. So we wanted to do the extrusion of anterior, as you can see, and intrusion of posterior using TED for that, meaning implants, and went up, upwards in the posterior segment and downwards with anterior upper teeth and upwards with anterior lower teeth. So we used, uh, in this case, she wore the elastic in anterior segment and the TEDS in posterior segment. And let's so see how it went. We see here before the treatment and with the intrusion of posterior being made up, up, uh, from this point on and the extrusion of anterior also being made. With, and here we can see that we are going upwards with posterior teeth and downwards with anterior upper teeth. Uh, and at the same point we're going upwards with anterior lower teeth because of the elastics we were using from this point, okay? So here we see the elastics, so representation of the elastic because she wasn't wearing the elastics when she took uh, that picture, uh, that photograph, and here we see after doing the intrusion of posterior and intrusion of anterior and finishing the case. So we can see here the elastics in anterior segment with the vertical component and the class 3 component also, okay? And here we see how we uh, dealt with this intrusion in the buccal segment because we know that when we do that we have the moment that it tends to go buccal with the crown and palatal with the root, so to avoid in that we use this palatal bar, uh, transpalatal bar, a little bit far from the palate because we had the intrusion, so for controlling the buccal inclination of the crown we use this uh, transpalatal bar. And here we uh, go again with the final uh, aspects of the mechanics 
the finishing of the mechanics with everything that we need to do with bands and loops when necessary and elastics. And after finishing everything, as you can see here, we have the open bite completely closed and we see before and after and uh, what happened with the intrusion. As you can see here, we have this amount of intrusion being made. Here is the height of the, the mini implant before or at the beginning of the intrusion procedure and after finishing. So we can compare before and after we had a good intrusion of posterior teeth and also we had uh, extrusion of anterior teeth. Okay, so we can see it now in her face, the outcome. Now we have a band. Of course, if she smiled a little bit with more enthusiasm, she would show more gingiva. But as you can see, she can manage to have a better smile, a social smile, showing what she wants to show of uh, gingiva. And for finishing this uh, concept, I would say to you, Yes, we have a main treatment planning for this. We had this and we offered this treatment planning for this patient and her family and she avoided. They avoided this treatment, so they refused to do the surgery and this is a secondary treatment planning. Of course, the best option would be surgery, but we can split the correction. We can, we can do this by dividing the correction between the extrusion of anterior and intrusion of posterior. If we did just the intrusion of the posterior teeth, the mandible would rotate a little bit more than we wanted forward, showing her mandible, her strong mandible, which would switch one problem to another. So we didn't want that. We wanted to divide the correction between the posterior and the anterior, and I think we managed to do that, and patient works very, very satisfied with the outcome. So that's it. One other option to close the bite. See you soon, guys. Bye-bye.